Welcome to One Word. One Word can change your life. One Word Prophetic Release with Prophetess Michelle Adams. Every day, every week, the Lord gives me a word that literally either changes my life or someone's life that I'm connected to. And the word for the second week of January 2020 is build. If you build it, they will come. It is time to build people and build big, not basic, but big. The beginning of this month, last week, I released the word and it was deliberate. Deliberate actions, deliberate speech, and deliberate deeds. You have to put foot to work. So this week, the Lord said it's time to build. Build each other up, right? Build means to construct, put together, establish, assemble, set up. When you build something, you put together material over time. So this is a work in progress. We are all a work in progress. It's time to create something. So week number two is just that. It's the second week where you need to put forth effort. And when you put forth effort, God is going to bless it. If he told you to do something, if he ministered a word to you that he wants you to build upon, when you put forth effort, you're going to be strong. So in week two, I want you to be strong and not weak. No time to be weak in week number two. So, what happens when God gives you a word? You're supposed to build upon it so it can help you continually to grow. God has us at a point where we need to maintain, be consistent, constant motion, to be diligent. We have to be diligent, people of God, child of God. We have to learn how to follow through and be specific. I said January is the month of the follow through. So why is God telling us to build? Because he has put so much in us. That's how we create, right? If we follow his instructions like Noah did, we will build something that someone never built before. So I said it's time to build big. No more small thinking. No more basic levels. We are beyond that people, God. We have so much word. So let's go to the word of God. The word of God states in Proverbs 24, verse 3. Now, January is the month of deliberate actions. The month of delivery. The, the month of the follow through, right? So the um, 2020 is the year of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, vision, and revelation. The year of prophetic, prophetic, prophetic utterance, right? So if you speak a thing, the clear thing, God is going to establish. So the first month, the onset month, the beginning month, the first month is the month where God breathes freshness on the year. So this is the month where you're supposed to establish. For the first week, he told us to be deliberate with our actions, with our words, and with our deeds. And now this week, he is telling us to build upon something. Build upon the word. Build upon something he told us to create, right? So the first scripture I'm giving you is about wisdom. Proverbs 24, 3 says, Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. So we understand we need to follow through. We understand we need to be deliberate, right? So let's talk about different people who built something that were architects. God is the architect and the master builder of something that he told us to do. So my prayer for you tonight is that God will bless the works of your hand and he will show you how to build something complete, show you how to build something on a strong foundation that's on him on Christ the solid rock, right? So there are several monuments that are around the world that were not basic, but they were blessed. If God tells you to build something, it's going to be blessed. He's going to anoint it and he's going to bless it. 
but you have to follow through. You have to be deliberate in actions and deed, and you have to go build. So the alpha, the out, the the Golden Gate Bridge, the Pyramids of Giza, the Statue of Liberty, the Washington Monument, the Iron Pillar, and the Eiffel Tower. They were not simple construction, but they were big, they were brilliant. And it took a master architect, someone who was wise, someone who followed through. Like Noah, if Noah didn't follow simple instructions, he would not have been able to build such a monument. Do you know Noah's Ark was a monument? And Noah followed instructions. So when God tells you to build something, he's going to give you deliberate instructions. But you're going to have to follow through. And when you follow through, God is going to anoint that idea. He's going to anoint that creative work. And then he's going to bless the work of your hands. And why, why does God bless the work of your hands? So you can be a blessing to someone else. Whatever you build, whatever you construct, whatever you create, it's not only going to bless you, but it's going to bless someone else. But you have to follow God's instructions, his intentions, right? Don't just build for yourself. And whatever you build, it's going to set you apart. It should be unique. These are tips. Hi. It should be unique. It should be creative. And it should be some kind of identifying quality about you. When you build great, when you build strong, it needs to be deliberate and it needs to be purposeful. So in Micah 7:11 the word of God says it will be a day of building walls on that day will boundaries be extended God will extend your boundaries when you build strong when you build intentionals he blesses the works of your hand when you deliberately do when you deliberately act and when you deliberately follow instructions. So January is the month of deliberate actions. And on the second week, the prophetic word for you is go, build, create, construct, set something up, and follow through. I declare and decree that this will be a start of something great for you. I declare and decree that the downloads to create, to construct, to build, you will follow through. In 1 Thessalonians 5.11, the word of God says, Therefore be encouraged and encourage one another. Encourage one another by doing. Build one another up just as you do. So Micah 7.11, you need to read over that scripture. I've already prayed that God will bless the work of your hands. Remember that January is a pivotal month that sets the tone for the rest of the year. Follow through. Be deliberate. Construct something that is unique. Ask God to bless the work of your hands. And when you build something, it's going to bridge a gap. But remember, don't build basic because whatever you build or create, it should have an identifying equality to you, the creator. God doesn't create junk, so neither should you. So I bless you. So I send blessings your way from Prophetess Michelle. Week two should not be a weak week. Week two is not a weak week. So build strong and God will bless the work of your hands. But be intentional and deliberate about everything you do. Remember, January is the onset month that is setting the tone for the rest of the year. God bless you now and forevermore. And I pray that God will bless 
everything that you put your hands to this year. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.